We also have in the legislation uh, d direct payments, which were not in the Republican bill, to America's working families. I would like them b b bigger, but they are uh, significant, and they will be going out soon. Madam Leader. Madam Leader. Um, um, a number of companies are attributing the tax bill for being able to give higher wages to their employees as well as being able to give a number of bonuses to their employees. How do you respond to that? Well, I, I, the number of bonuses that were given, well, one, one of the bonuses was already in a union contract, and then they added a little more money to that. That same firm just so told their employees that they were going to be laying off 1,500 people and if they wanted to save their jobs, they could all start working 32 hours in those uh, communities. So the, the, in terms of the bonus that corporate America received versus the crumbs that they are giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. And I would hope that in the, with their big advantage of bringing money home at a very low rate, that they would invest in infrastructure and things, but the our experience has been that they will, uh, they will do dividends, they will do stock buybacks and things like that. I think it's insignificant. Yes, ma'am. As far back as July and all autumn, Republicans have consistently supported a targeted package right in the ballpark of this total amount with exactly the same kinds of policies in the mix. The package that will shortly become law falls exactly within the ballpark of what Senate Republicans have been proposing and trying to pass since last summer. This is eerily similar to what we were trying to pass last summer. Compare the shape of this major agreement with the shape of what I proposed all the way back in late July. Yes, some fine details are different. There's no doubt this new agreement contains input from our Democratic colleagues. It is, of course, bipartisan, but those matters could have been settled a long time ago as well. So why did it take all this time? We know why. We've heard Democrats say openly they were not willing to deal all summer and fall, but are willing now, willing now, because they have a president-elect of their own political party. That's not my accusation, Mr. President. That's their admission. Pretty, they've been pretty candid about it. So look, I'm glad we've gotten this done. My Democratic colleagues and I have had good discussions this past week. Both parties have a lot to be proud of. But I really regret that some on the Democratic side decided that partisan presidential politics were more important than getting urgent and non-controversial relief out the door much sooner to families who have needed this help badly. The progress of this past week could have happened in July or August or September or October. Senate Republicans were advocating for a package just like this one all along in real time. I just wish our partners on the other side had put political calculations aside and worked with us to make this happen a long time ago. However, with that said, I appreciate the earnest conversations of the past week. I want to thank the Democratic leader, Speaker Pelosi, Leader McCarthy, as well as in particular, Secretary Mnuchin, who's been tireless in these discussions uh, throughout. Uh, both sides and both chambers have really stepped up and worked hard to get this done. So we'll be moving forward with historic pandemic relief and full year funding legislation for the federal government as well. And I hope we can do this as promptly as possible.